What's up guys? It is almost time for the 2.4 hours of late mullets here at the Freedom Factory. If you guys want to watch the pay-per-view on BaldEagle.com, you can actually watch it for free if you spend over $75 on SummitRacing.com and use code CLETUS at checkout. They give you a pay-per-view ticket for free. That only lasts till the end of this week. I know you guys are already buying your normal car parts from Summit Racing, so if you're spending over 75 bucks, plug in that code Cletus, and you get a free pay-per-view ticket emailed to you so you can watch the Freedom Factory's 2.4 hours of lay mullets presented by Summit Racing. All right, let's get to the World Cup content. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Good morning. Oh, wait, wait, what do I say? Hold on, hold on. Buenos dias! Oh man, well it was cold this morning. Showed 40 degrees on the water earlier. Gotta warm it up now. Gotta get some oil temp in it. And uh, fuel it up. We're almost up. Because last night when they canceled the qualifying, we were almost up. So, let's heat up. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, ready to rip, ready to rip. So, it's gonna be a fun day. Really hoping to make some good qualifier rips and uh, shoot, do our thing, man. What the most gotta do. We got all that testing in last night. This will be ready to roll. All right, guys, a little status update. It's been about five hours since we started the car up this morning. We still haven't ran. We think we have a really good tune up, so. Just gotta go up there and make it happen. Geared up, ready to roll, boy. 24 hours later, making our second rip. This better be good. Dude, I hope so. This is our only shot. So if, we, if Mullet doesn't make a good rip right now, he is not racing. So, really need this to be a good one. Make sure you got heat in the motor so you can do a burnout when you get here. Right, like All right, we're laying down the motor. Blue here on the star line here for our... All right, Mullo gets the first pass. All the fresh spray. The most important qualifier pass of his life right now. We need a good clean hit right here, Mullo. Enough, boys. 
transmission did not like that. That was me feathering the throttle like the tires were spinning, but the transmission was internally spinning. Looks like we're gonna have to put Kevin's transmission in if we qualify. You're leaking. I don't know if it's water or oil. From where? It's right here. Is it bad? I mean, it's dripping and they got it on the quarter mile. Okay. Let me take a look. Now we're leaking transmission fluid. That's good. 3515. put my transmission in it probably. Let's put so. your trans and converter in it. Then we know we have something solid. The only thing is Kevin's gear set is different, so we're gonna have to like lay on it on the starting line a lot harder yeah. just because of gear ratios. Yep. But I think with how good the track is and how dialed the suspension is, he'll take it. Yeah, we'll just like send it to the moon at yeah. six tenths. We also got a warning we're leaking oil. So if we leak again, we could be disqualified. Still in a 496 in the eight. Hmm. Oh, 118.60 foot. Sweet. <laughs> Nate's proud of that. <laughs> Nate and Ty are proud of that. Clear, let me get the cliff note version. Are we changing transmissions? We're changing transmissions. Are we changing torque converters? Changing torque converters. So this is going to be a big job. Ah, it's not too bad on this thing. Plus we got Kevin who built it, so I mean. <laughs> so yeah, you and I grab some milkshakes. <laughs> an <laughs> <laughs> Another new converter who this moment. Yeah, the converter we have in it's either too loose or that transmission's already hurt or a combination of the two. Kevin's buddy has a real tight converter that should be like the old one. And then Kevin's transmission we know is good because he just pulled out of his car. And we're going to see if we can break those. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got Clear Bob Doodle Bob in here taking the panel out. How's it coming, buddy? It's going fantastic. Couldn't have thought of any better answer. It's gonna go really good. Try to get the hard stuff done for the boys and take the dash panel out. And they yeah. Take from there. yeah it's easy. Ten or fifteen minutes will grab us a couple milkshakes and they yeah. they should be able to handle it. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're down here now and you can see there's fluid everywhere. Turns out that is engine oil. That is not transmission fluid. We thought it'd be transmission fluid. The thing is, though, the transmission failed, but it's not. So there's engine oil everywhere under here. We think it, we might have uh, blown our rear main seal out. So. That's just another thing to fix. All right, guys, so we're looking at Mullet 724 pass, and you can see here the engine pressure, so the crankcase pressure is climbing through the whole run. And what we found here on the new engine is that it's doing the same thing. And it climbed so high that it, about as high as when it went to 724, but this time it actually blew the seal out of the back of the engine, so we got pressure in the crankcase. So we don't know why, but it's two different engines, same problem. So we think our engine's still healthy. We just need to figure out, is it the alcohol being too rich or the methanol could potentially be causing this. That's the Harbor Freight unit, dude. Solid billet aluminum for motion race horse. Can it do it? So we got this and we're gonna weld on. Have you heard the plan? I haven't heard anything. We're, uh, we got some problems. We've <laughs> got a lot of crankcase pressure ever since we went to methanol and we never realized. Blew the rear main out. So we're going to make the oil fill cap a vent using the intercooler lines. We're going to use the intercooler lines going to vent into the intercooler tank. 
Yeah, you got yeah. There you go, bud. Like it was on a lathe. Go find a welder, brother. <laughs> we'll see you. Okay, you about got the trans all unbolted. About to drop her down now. Go ahead, Parker. Here she comes. Got everything disconnected. Slow and steady. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Satisfying. Got it. All right, guys. Some fellow racers lent us that drill, and now they're lending us our welder. And we got Ty on the job. Give it the old Wakeley foot. Don't try. Damn, Ty. Laying down the freaking dimes. No matter where he is. In the wind. <laughs> Those are pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Keep this mod forever now, boy. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. We got Kevin's transmission all dialed in. And we got a new rear main seal on the motor. Engine's good. We found some junk in the breather system, so we're pretty sure it was clogged up and not letting the engine breathe. And that's why it blew out the rear main. So uh, we'll slap this transmission in and see what we got. Where's Bobo at? Oh, the people's champ. Damn! Oh, it's Bobo! Oh, yes, sir, I love! Yes, sir! Look at that beautiful guy! The people's guy. champ, dude. How are you doing, You brother? got the people's champ sweatshirt on? Oh, come on. Where is it at? Okay, okay. Now we do. How you been, bro? We haven't seen you in years. Man, how you been? We've been good. You know, work. Only the original World Cup people what? will remember this guy <laughs> from the videos. So, as you'll see, everything is dark and the trailer is dark. Let me turn on some lights. That is because we have been waiting for several hours to find a small adapter that aligns the new torque converter we have with our crank. So this is a different type of torque converter than the one we had, so it requires this adapter. And we finally just found one. So now George, Ty, and Parker are driving an hour to get this adapter from a fan of the page, and then we will put the transmission back in the car. All right, so guys, Place well, it's gonna work is we'll put our cap back in with our new addition. And then we're gonna take this intercooler line, put it on there, and then we're gonna leave the intercooler tank open so it can breathe, and that'll vent even more pressure out of the engine. Along with the thing we uh, found, there's a line clogged underneath the thing. So yeah, that might have been it, who knows. So we're draining the water out of the intercooler tank right now. They're so cold, we don't need that intercooler anyway. We'll, alcohol, I mean, we're learning, so. Yeah, we'll drain the tank and then we'll get all this dialed back in when we get home, but at least this will work for now. Okay guys, so we took the intercooler lines off. We blew the intercooler water out. We also blew out the lines and now we're gonna run that line right here to the cap, which goes to our normal water tank, which we're gonna end up with a little bit of oil in the water tank probably, but that's no big deal. I mean, we can put some degreaser in there and it'll just cycle itself out. We're doing the thing. Yes. And they'll be back with the converter adapter soon. And we'll have this thing ready for tomorrow. Obviously, we didn't get to hit the last qualifier. At least we're in the race for tomorrow. We're racing a super fast car off the rip, like a 7.0 or 7.1 car. I don't know for sure yet, but we're going to have to go fast. And we got the new gear set, which is going to make our starting line ratio totally different. And converter. Shot in the dark. Oh, yeah. Complete shot in the dark. And a borrowed converter. At least we know the suspension is working, so we'll leave that alone. Just send it. Yep. Check it out, guys. Transmission's in. Adapter worked. Facing the converter now. Tying everything in. We'll be ready to reappear shortly. Are we going to be one of those guys who does late night two step testing? It seems yeah. like the thing to do, right? I've now. always wanted to do it at World Cup. Everyone does, does. I mean, you got to wait till 3, 4 a.m. and test your two step. That's how it works here. So we're good. Yeah, go, right? We're good. Everything's up. Fluid we got in. the gear vendor filled. We got to put transmission fluid in. Belly pans on. Dude, hell yeah. Hopefully my translates. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, Nate. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. We're doing uh, shift your adjustments. <laughs> Just so you guys know, there is nine people sleeping in Freedom Force One this weekend. Pretty crazy. Right All right, you guys ready? Fire in the hole, cowboy. Well, we're running through the gears real quick. It moves. I 
can already tell this converter is tighter for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a big boy converter. Oh yeah, like I give it a little bit of throttle and it starts, it starts going. Yeah. <laughs> that long first gear is gonna be weird too. Yeehaw! Let's rip. Hopefully it goes some kind of good number tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we turned the leave boost up to 12 pounds, so we try it out. I put it to 15 and give my board a scramble. Hit that shit at 60 foot. I'll just. Is that how you do every run? Damn right. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna end off the video. Go get some sleep and uh, hit it tomorrow. We have like the fastest car in the class, first round. So we're gonna send it and give the guy a run for his money. We're here for a good time, not a long time. That's right. <laughs> Turn it up. All righty, guys, we are draining some trans fluid out of mullet. Big Buenos Dias, Eliminations Day. We pulled all that water out of the intercooler tank and now the car is going to be a little bit lighter than it was. And we have to scale in. We have to be 3,500 pounds. We were 35.15 yesterday. So I'm going to go hit the scales and make sure the car is still of race weight because we can do all this and then lose because we didn't weigh enough. But we can always put some stuff in the car to make it weigh more. So we uh, got to go do that. But how's that tune up looking? Spicy? looks a little spicy. It's not as spicy as last night. We're just going to simmer it just a little bit so it doesn't strike the tire and okay. hopefully it goes down. Sounds good to me. Alright guys, well we are 3,510 pounds. 3,510. That's gotten in pretty close. If we come up and we burn a bunch of fuel, we might be less. So I think we're going to have to put four or five gallons of fuel in the car and then we'll be good. Racing a GT500 race car, Pro Charger deal. Dude, look at that wheel, spindle mount. I know, dude, nice. Got a nice Mustang here, dude. This thing's bad to the bone. And uh, what are you going in qualifying? 710. 710? Ooh. <laughs> well, we're gonna really have to rip it. <laughs> but uh, at least we're here, we qualified. Big pro charger, paint driven deal. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, this race is spicy, boys. We're in the lanes. We're almost up. Ladies and gentlemen, we. All right, baby, 
first round of eliminations. Here comes Mullen. Looking good, running good. All she has to do is race it good. Come out. You see if it made uh, crankcase pressure with the new vent yeah, system. Yeah, I mean, we can try and improve yeah. on it. Learn some things. six this weekend, but we can go back, get the new trans that we ordered in it. And yep. Make some. It'll be a whole you different. Got a converter too. Lock up the converter. Lock up the real nasty stuff. I need a wheel chop. All right, come on, guys. Do a pity applause for Mullet. Come on, let's hear a little. <laughs> Mullet did all right. It doesn't have a blown engine or anything, so that's good. Hey, we did still go 122 60 foot, 5 in the eighth. I think I might have lifted right before the eighth. It was nothing crazy. Yeah, look at the RPM, dude. Oh, jeez. Bunch of boost, but it was just rise. Yeah, that's pretty ugly. Ah, uh, we got grub worm coming. So as you can tell, I'm already back in Florida. We drove through the night last night after racing and uh, we were just freaking worn out. Sucks having parts failures, man. It's like, you can only prepare so much and then parts failures. So I ordered the nastiest Turbo 400 you can get. It is literally a pro mod transmission. It will go in mullet and it will be bulletproof. 
and we will go sixes. This weekend did not go the way I wanted. I want to be so ready for all the races next year. I want to show up to TX2K, the first race of the year, and Streetcar Takeover and all those events and just be dialed in. I'm over it. I'm getting the good parts, and we're going to run it hard. Cars is too heavy and making too much steam for the setup that we started with, which happens. So we'll upgrade. It's all good. But I want to say the suspension is working incredible now. Has not spun and since we changed it, and that's exciting. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.